Okay, so this is item pre-processing again, but this time this is more advanced. We're gonna use JavaScript, which gives me a lot more options. Okay, so this time I want the first line here plus the user. So I want, I'm gonna return just that value there plus that line there. And I'm gonna use JavaScript. So if we go to configurations, templates, items, the item that we've been working on so far, go to pre-processing and delete that. And we're gonna create a new one. Add, this time it's gonna be JavaScript, okay? And if we look at the example here, it's got function value, so it passes in the value and it gives you an example, like to return the value, so nothing's changed. So we can do any logic on that value we like and then return a different value, so we can return anything I like. So what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste this code that I've created earlier. So var lines equals value, that's value there, dot split slash n, which creates an array of every new line in the text file. So line zero, I'm just getting lines zero there. So I'm just putting line zero into a variable and I'm returning it down here. And then I also want the account name. So I just initialize it with nothing. And then I go through all the lines that I've just created up here, lines for each, for each line. I trim any white space from the beginning. And then I search for the first 13 characters equal, equaling account name. I then go account name equals line substrict 14 dot trim the remainder of the line. So at the end, hopefully, I have a line zero plus a colon plus an account name. Let's apply that. Let's test that with some data that we had from earlier. So I'll test that. And this is a, this is an example, Windows event failure, um, event logs text. So an account failed to log on, there's a whole lot of information in there. Account domain, there's the IE user, account name. It's more information that I'm not deciding is important right now. Let's apply that. Now, if we test that with our new JavaScript script, test, it's given me an account failed to log on, colon, IE user. Excellent. I'm not entirely happy with that yet. So I'll cancel that test and I'll just modify it slightly. I want it to be count name and then line zero. So let's supply that. Let's test that again. So the information is still there. Let's give that a test. Okay, so it's now showing me the user account and account failed to log on. Okay, that's good. Let's update that. Okay, now let's go and generate some failed logons. Well, let's update Raspberry Pi. So it uh, downloads the config cache again from the server. Excellent. We're on the virtual machine now. Let's create some failed logons for test user one. Hmm. Oh, that's passwords incorrect. Let's do another one. Okay, let's uh, do one for IA user as well. Excellent. Okay. Now let's go and check that in Zabbix. Monitoring, latest data, apply. Okay, here we go. IE user and account failed. Let's look at the history. Okay, look. IE user and account failed to log on. Test user one and account failed to log on. Test user one. So 
there we go. With the JavaScript, you can just you can do it any way you like. And JavaScript's a very common skill. So you'll find all the information you need.